Hi Aries, welcome back. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving. I hope all has been well. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. We're going to go dive right directly into your reading to see what's closing out this month for you, Aries, for the month of October. All right, I hope all has been well. So come on in, smash that like button, Aries. We're just going to dive directly into love all right we're gonna see what's coming towards you for love closing out this month of october we're gonna dive directly into some tarot all right so definitely take your what resonates for you aries and leave here on the table what does not all right let's see what's going on in your love life aries all right let's see what you need to know here we have the death card, Scorpio energy here, okay? Some of y'all could be exchanging energies with the Scorpio, but it looks like here that you are deciding to put some type of situation or circumstance here finally to an end, all right? Something here you're no longer feeling like that you are resonating with. Let's see what else here. Let's clarify the death cards here. What else is going on in Aries' love life? We have the Eight of Swords. This could be an air sign, Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra. Something here that you feel like that you've been stuck in for quite some time or you felt restricted here that you wasn't able to just, you know, be yourself or move around. This could be a relationship here for some of you all. This could be a job that you're at that you no longer feel like you resonate with. This could be a person, a place, or a thing here that's going on with you mentally here, Aries. It definitely has you in your head a lot about this. Let's see what else. What else does Aries need to know? We have the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. Yeah, there was some type of situation. Rather, this was a partnership, a love family member, career. There were definitely a situation here where you were not given an exchange of energy here. I feel like you realize that you were putting in more effort than the other person was. Why do we have the Six of Pentacles? Why do we have the Six of Pentacles here for Aries? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? The Four of Wands. Yeah, this is a relationship. A relationship that you were involved in or whatever ship that this is that you felt like that you did not get the fairness of you put you felt like you put more in this connection versus in the person that you were dating or connecting with did they could be a fire sign as well like yourself it could be a leo a sagittarius or an aries Clarify the Eight of Swords, the World card. Yeah, you definitely decide to put things here to an end, and you're going towards a new beginning here. You pass some type of test and cycle here. The King of Cups. Yeah, some of y'all, this could have been a spouse of yours or someone that you were in a commitment with. We got Scorpio energy again. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles and the Moon card. So some of y'all, this person put you in a third party. Or you found out that this person was still involved with someone else. There could have been a situation going on within their working environment that you may found out about. Again, this could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Virgo, or this could be a Cancer here with the Moon Court. What else here for Aries? The five of wands and you're very conflicted about this i feel like when you found this out it really kind of disturbed your energy 
Because again, you put in a lot of effort into this person and for you to find out that this person was sneaking around behind your back and not being honest with you, I feel like that was very devastating to you. It hurt, you know? I get it, you know? You had feelings for this person here. But what you're not gonna do is feel like that you have to be in competition with somebody here. The five of wands talks about competition arguments, fights, disagreements. And this is where I feel like with the death card is where you're deciding to put this type of behavior or energy or just being involved with people like this in a relationship is what you're over. You're over these type of relationships. Yeah, you're looking forward to a new beginning here. The Ace of Pentacles. Some of y'all are choosing to focus more on your career and your finances right now. Confirmation. What else? What else does Aries need to know about their love life? Judgment. Yeah, you feel like until this person can address the situation or at least address the elephant here that's in the room, you are not in this position where you're going to continue to remind someone of their own behavior patterns. It's not fair to you. It's not your business to do that when you feel like you haven't done anything wrong here. So the fact that this person does not want to hold themselves accountable and be honest with you, but they rather linger around and keep tabs on you but not address the situation head on. So it's like, how can you build anything with this person? How can you let alone trust this person if this person is not stepping up and held themselves accountable? But you're finding out through other people, through other situations and circumstances of what's going on with this person, but yet they're not communicating this with you. Wow, so let's see what this person wants to say. Now that we kind of got an idea about what's going on here, let's see how does this person feel about everything that has transpired between you two. How does this person feel that it's in Aries energy here, please? Wow, we got it's more to this story. So this person feels like that there is more to the story that they would want to discuss with you or talk to you about. Wow no more third parties so again that's confirmation for what i just picked up up here and whatever secret that this was that this person tried to keep from you about this third party mm, 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 mm. yeah i'm telling the truth so it's like now this person wants to come in and give their side of the story after the fact that this has happened or transpired between you two yeah, and they're looking for you, okay? They're definitely looking for you to try to communicate this to you. You may have cut this person off, Aries. You may have blocked this person, which I don't blame you. You know, you're just kind of over it at this point. And it's like now that it took you to completely have to pull your energy back and shut this down, now they want to come looking for you. Now they're asking everybody, have you heard from Aries? Have you seen Aries? Wow. Yeah, look at that. It's like they want to try to convince you that they will leave everybody for you when all in all, this is what this person should have did from the beginning. But it took you to have to make a decision to put things to an end and pour your energy back for this person to get a reality check here, you know? Wow, Aries, very interesting energy check in here for you today. I definitely hope this kind of help gave you some clarity, confirmation for yourselves. Definitely, if so, don't forget to like, subscribe. We would love to have you here, Aries, a part of our family. If you would love to book a personal reading, my email details are down below in the description box. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. It truly is always a pleasure having you here. And definitely be sure to set your notification bell so you can be aware of the next upcoming reading 
that I post on my channel here for you, Aries. And I definitely wish you and this person here the best, my loves. Bye-bye.